In Limert Park, an historic black neighborhood in Los Angeles, you could see... And I would not be standing here tonight without the unyielding support of my best friend. Oh, Mama Day. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> and here, the optimism. We all know the past, and um, we're now going into the future. And uh, most people think it's just about time. The reality is still sinking in here that America voted for the nation's first African-American president, Barack Obama. And at Penn's Diner in Ladera Hills, another of LA's many black enclaves, breakfast was sizzling and the morning conversation was hot. And to see it in my lifetime, I think when I was a little girl, everyone would always say, oh, I want to be a president, I want to be the first black president, but to know that it's happening in my lifetime is amazing. For president-elect Obama. Our dreams are being realized as Americans, not as blacks, not as whites, but as American, as the people that America was founded upon. We were all founded, America was founded to provide religious freedom and economic freedom to everybody. And I'm just happy to be alive this day. After voting myself. Afro-American studies professor Lisbeth Kent Britton says President-elect Obama will start, not end a national conversation on race. Slaves, when the White House was first being constructed, built it. There were white workers, but also the majority were slaves. Their owners were getting paid, the slaves were not, the princely sum of $5 a week. And now we have an African-American man and his family who will be living in the White House. So maybe the words of poet Langston Hughes are finally ringing true. Tomorrow I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. It's been a long time coming. Just standing here enjoying it. John Moan, the Associated Press, Los Angeles. Change has come to America.